Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and today we are reviewing another Sonoff device and this is the Sonoff Zigbee Mini Extreme which is very similar to the Sonoff Mini Extreme but this is Zigbee and probably the only other thing you would notice it has less connections than the regular ones which I reviewed just a couple of weeks ago because this is a non-live wire version. So if I want to summarize this in just a few bullet points, it is Zigbee. It is designed to be a regular switch replacement, so very small, which should fit behind your switch. It doesn't require a live wire and it has a 6 amp relay. And I would say that's pretty much all you need to know about it. And obviously you can see the wiring that you can connect the switch to it, like here, similar to the, uh, the Wi-Fi version. And you have the lamp. I don't really want to you know, spend too much time on it because um, that's pretty much it. And as you can see in the video, it, you know, it just works fine in the evening application and I was able to load it or link it to my TUI application as well. So it works in TUI as well. So if you, want, if you have TUI but you want to buy the Sonoff one because you find it cheaper, yeah, just go ahead and then use it because it's going to be uh, pretty much the same thing as any other uh, Vi uh, sorry, Zigbee switch. The only thing I couldn't test is the Zigbee to MQTT because last time I was testing something, I think I broke something. So my <clears throat> Zigbee to MQTT doesn't really work the way I expected it and I just didn't have the time to look after it. So that's probably becoming in, in the future once I have the time to look at it. And this is all connected here. So I have a regular uh, like old style toggle switch linked to it. So if I switch the switch, then the output changes you can see this small LED uh, indicator light lights up and if I change it again then it goes away very very simple <clears throat> the other thing I would say is well obviously it is uh, no neutral wire because uh, if you look at the connection this is my incoming mains and then the live wire goes in here to the live in and then the output, the live out goes to the lamp and then the neutral is connected to the, uh, to the lamp. So only two wire go to the, to the Sonoff switch. So those would be the permanent life and the switch life as you would find in most uh, typical, let's say old style or non-smart homes. And of course you have the S1 and the S2 connection which uh, goes directly to the switch. So nothing else is required. And as you can see, there is no capacitor. There's nothing here. And what I was also surprised that it even works with this very low power LED indicator light because what I have noticed in uh, other products which uh, did not use a capacitor and had uh, had the same uh, no neutral wire configuration or single live wire configuration that um, this small LED lamp wasn't enough so I just had to use a regular lamp or just uh, let's say at least like I don't know like a 3 or 5 watt LED lamp but this seems to work you know very happy with this probably the only thing i notice that when the power goes out then there is a small uh flicker when the power comes back but that's it that's that's hardly noticeable and i think it's fine probably the only other thing i would also mention is that uh, you can configure the power on state which i think was missing for some of the zigbee lights maybe it is now added to all of them, but it's definitely available here, which I think it's, it should be at least a must. So that's the power on state. So what you're going to see in this video is how it works in the EVLink application and also how it works in the Tuya Smart. But uh, it works, it is very simple, it is very small, so I definitely like it. By the way, if I want to show you the dimensions, so this is the, uh, the Wi-Fi version, so that's the a mini extreme as you can see it's almost the same size so it's the same width almost the same width and the same same height this is a little bit uh you know wider sort of deeper i would say probably like two or three mil so nothing really noticeable and uh, i did mention in the beginning so this had a, a 10 amp relay and i think probably there is a little bit less space in here so this only received the 6 amp relay and just again, let's look at the setup in the evening application. And uh, just like how I did recently, I'm going to use the NS Panel Pro as a Zigbee gateway. So I've already done the pairing. There was nothing really special about that. I mean, 
as soon as I powered it on, it was going into pairing mode, but there is also this button that you can long press to reset the device. And now you can see that it is added to my NS panel and I named it as Zigbee Mini 2. And you know, if I press it, then the light comes on. And if I press it again, then the light goes off. And of course it works from here as well. And then the NS Panel Pro shows the update. You know, not really fancy, but this is a light switch. So uh, that's, that's what you would expect. And if you look at how it looks like in the evening application, I would say that it is pretty much same as the previous Zigbee Mini or the Zigbee Basic. So you have this big button on the middle that you can press and it's going to turn on your device. And then you have the usual suspects like you can have different schedules created when the device should turn on and off. And you can have multiple of these schedules. You can have timers. So let's say I turn it on and I want it to turn off after half an hour. So these are like one time timers you can just quickly set up. And there is the infamous loop timer, which you can create an alternate on off cycles if you need such a functionality for whatever reason. And that's it. And if you go into the settings, then uh, the things are, you know, fairly simple as well. You can change the name here and you can assign to a different location. So if you uh, are moving it between the rooms and you just want to change the room assignment, you can do it here. And um, to be honest, I would need to go back to my videos because I don't think that the Zigbee devices had a power on state, but now it has, which uh, I think is great because uh, anything that comes on as soon as the power is, uh, uh, you know, is powered on, uh, well, that would be a nightmare in a, in a power outage situation, especially if it happens overnight. So you have the power on, power on state and then the rest is just the usual, you know, things that uh, you have the device ID, the firmware, and if you want to remove the device, you can remove it here. So fairly simple. And in the scenes, I think I can set it up, but again, we will get the usual, like, you know, state changes. So smart device, Zigbee Mini, you can set a scene, uh, which will trigger if this Zigbee Mini is getting turned on or off. And if I want to look at the other side, what can you do with the Zigbee Mini? Yes, you can turn it on and off or you can reverse the states. So again, if you have a, a one, like a sig symbol Zigbee button, you can set it that if that Zigbee button is pressed, then you reverse the status. So it will turn on if it's off and vice versa. So that's nice. But these are, this is how any of these sort of uh, uh, switches uh, behave in the scenes mode. So nothing special here, but to be honest, I didn't expect anything special. So it's a switch, it is small, it is Zigbee, and it doesn't require neutral wire. I quickly set up the Zigbee Mini in the Tui application as well. It literally took me like five minutes to migrated over from the son of, as you can see it here. Um, I use my usual Blitzwolf uh, uh, EIS-1 uh, uh, ZB gateway. Yeah, I managed to pronounce that. So it is here. Um, I renamed it, well, Zigbee Mini because it's a Zigbee Mini. So, and if we wait for the uh, screen to uh, come on, I have an on off button. So now it's on and now it is off. So yeah, it is a simple switch and I can rename it. I can give it a different name, although I'm not really sure why you have a separate name for um, a single gang switch. Usually you have it for multi gang switches and you have an option to do add timers. And uh, this works very similar to how it works in the Sonoff system. So you can say which day of the week you want the timer, what time you want it and whether you want it to be on and off. You can also have an additional notification and a note. I'm not really sure why would you use that, but that's it. So we don't have the timer. Well, I mean, it says timer here, but this is really a schedule. So this is called a schedule in the EV-Link. Uh, and there is no timer and the loop timer here. But to be honest, I think those are the, uh, the features that would be used less anyway. So schedule is, I think it's good enough. So you can still, you know, have this uh, schedule to turn on and off. So let's say if it's a night lamp or like some sort of mood light, then it would just come on in the evening and would turn off automatically uh, later in the, uh, in the night. And if you go into the settings, then um, yeah, the usual things, 
change the picture and the name and the location. You can have offline notification. You have this multi-control association, which again, if you have multiple switches, then you can just link them together so they work uh, like a two-way or three-way switching. You can share the device. And um, uh, yeah, again, uh, this is some dual control. You can add association. I think this association is probably uh, something related to the Zigbee because this is a Zigbee device and then the multi-control association is uh, is something generic which uh, is available for Wi-Fi and Zigbee switches as well and there is no device up, uh, firmware update. Of course I can't really test this multi-control because I have only one but I guess you get the idea. You have two switches and you can just link them together so they both turn at the same time but uh, yeah that's pretty much it. It is a simple switch Nothing really much to be said about it. Let's look at the um, uh, the triggers. Yeah, just like in the EV-Link, you have a trigger when this device turns on and off. And if I want to set it up as a uh, on the action side, then again, we have exactly the same functions. You can turn it on and off or reverse the state, which is perfectly adequate for a simple switch. I wouldn't expect anything more. And this is what you would use anyway. So that's how it works in the Tuya Smart application. And this is all I wanted to talk about the Zigbee Mini Extreme. If you like this product, you are going to find affiliate links in the video description. But that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you next video.